Hi guys, uh, today we are going to recreate Super 8 millimeter effect so it's going to be very quick and uh, without further ado let's just start. What you need is your footage and um, overlay that you can find down in the description and basically what you do from your media pool you just drag your footage on the first layer and overlay onto the second layer and adjust the length. First we are going to do all adjustments on the first layer meaning your footage. Click on it and adjust the frame rate. 8 millimeter film was played in 18 frames per second instead of 24 so let's change that by right clicking on your clip and just choose this um, change clip speed and this window pops up and uh, where it says frames per second you just double click and set that to 18. Uh, next thing that we are going to do will be changing the crop of your clip. Uh, we want to set 4 by 3 aspect ratio and the way we are going to do that just find in the inspector window uh, option cropping and here we want to crop left and right by 240 pixels 240 pixels that will give us exactly a 4 by 3 aspect ratio because instead of 920 uh, we will have 1440 and when we divide that by 1080 we get 1.33333 that gives us exactly 4 by 3 aspect ratio Furthermore, set softness to minus 10 just to blend it better with the footage with uh, layers. Next, we are going to go to color page and there we are going to give it some old look, I would say. We will do that in this uh, color wheel and lift option. We'll just drag this uh, circle to the blue side just to put some blue in the shadows and this uh, circle in the gain to yellow just to put some yellow in the highlights to mimic that you know old look and as you can see here we have some blue that we don't want so what we have to do is just limit uh, where our color is on the layer and we are going to do that by adding a window. Just click on this window icon and put this uh, rectangle and just drag it to the right side. We are now affecting only this image. After we apply mask, the other thing that we want to do, we want to decrease image quality in a way, but a good way and we do that by going to this blur icon and we just increase radius here let's say 55, what looks the best for you always is the best option but just don't get you know, over the top and that is basically it, what we have to do with our um, footage side. Now let's start working with our overlay clip. So let's go back to edit page and um, let's click on that overlay clip. In my case I'm going to go to inspector and, and you should go <laughs> to inspector as well but in my case uh, under composite mode I will put it to multiply but again, you just have to play around and find the best in your particular case. Also play around with this opacity. In my case, 100% works the best, so it will depend on your footage. Just play around with it. And um, next thing that we are going to do is go to this zoom control and click on this chain icon and uncheck it just to be able to control our zoom on the x-axis meaning that we are going to adjust our width only and we are going to put 0 0.76 
in order to get exact aspect ratio and the reason why that number is because when you think a bit about it uh, on our footage clip uh, we did crop from the left and right side by 240 pixels meaning that is just a thousand times bigger but you know ratios are the same and basically this will give you that 4 by 3 aspect ratio so just put it at 0.76 we also want to blur a bit and we are going to do that also in color page under uh, this blur and radius option and also we are going to put it at uh, 0.55 play around with it to get best results and last thing that I'm going to do go to this color wheel option and under offset I'm going to reduce uh, brightness just to you know blend it together better and you can see some blue edges so that means that I should be adjusting a mask on the previous clip so you go under clips and just select the previous clip and under this mask option find the mask and um, pull it a bit in if we check that out now we can see that blue edge disappeared so basically this is the final effect and now let's see how it looks I hope that you liked this video and I hope that it was helpful and if you did uh, just uh, give it a like and subscribe for more content on editing and filmmaking and let me know down in comments what you thought about this and if you have any suggestions for our next videos just also put them down in the comments and until next time have a nice day and goodbye